Hello and welcome once again to What's on Solihull. This is episode three. Thank you very much for downloading this featured content podcast. Today's dates range from the 11th of April right through to the 17th of April. And uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about all the fun things to do here in Solihull. My name's Jeff O'Brien and I am from Solihull Radio. I am joined by... I'm Claire Bullivant from Solihull Observer. And I'm Ian Rogers from What's on Solihull. There we go. There's our introductions. Hopefully... You'll enjoy what we have to offer. Please do get in touch with us if you've got any events, and we can include them here in our podcast. There's lots of ways to get in touch with us. You can contact us via the Solihull Observer telephone number 0121 270 You can email us. You can find us on the social medias. The Facebook is What's on Solihull. Or you can now find us on Instagram or Twitter. And if you want to text the station, start your message with the word studio 82228. How have you two been? Good. We've had a great week, haven't we? We had a great event the other night. Jeff and I, you didn't... I couldn't make, make it, it, sorry. Ian, but Jeff and I went to the, um, what's it, the music, of mu- fusion of music and dance. That's right. Uh, Symphony Hall. At the Symphony Hall in Birmingham. And honestly, I was just saying, it was one of the most incredible events. And Soli Hall and Dorridge in this area should be very proud to have so many amazing musicians. And what talent. Weren't, weren't you just yeah, blown away as absolutely. well? absolutely. I was very lucky. I was sitting almost side of the stage uh, doing some recording uh, for a podcast that's coming up actually we Brilliant. had people like Nikki Evans come on um, Angelo Starr was there uh, you know all some kind of wonderful I loved them yeah brilliant what a stuff. band yeah Fantastic. And, and all of the young people playing as well they're, they're students and they've come and they're playing at Symphony Hall in Birmingham but brilliant and some of those dancers mm-hmm. the moves they made just absolutely insane you missed a great night Ian oh, I really did <laughs> you'll have to yeah. watch my videos yeah, later there's some videos of that but Starting off this week on Thursday, the 11th of April, we've got Oh What a Feeling, the music of Lionel Richie and the Commodores coming to Soli Hall. This is going to be at the Core Theatre. And this was the winner of the Best Newcomer in 2018 at the National Tribute Music Awards and also has been voted by the, as the official UK number one by the Agents Association of Great Britain. So it's bound to be an amazing show. It's a stellar lineup of world class musicians, including Talon's own Johnny Miller and the incredible Malcolm Pitt. And it celebrates the amazing music of Lionel Richie and the Commodores. So it's got all your favourites, Dancing on the Ceiling, Easy, Say You, Say Me. Um, so many great songs. And we hope to see you there on Thursday night. Box office number is 01217046962 if you fancy going to that. That's you my can pick. also uh, head across to the website as well because there are tickets on, online as well. Absolutely. Perfect. He's a great guy as well. Malcolm Pitt is mm. the guy that does the Lionel Richie. Uh, he's worked for us a few times as a tribute. And oh, he's, he? he's very good. Yeah, he's one of the probably top two or three guys in the country doing that. He was recently on um, one of Graham Norton's shows, and they, they did a lookalike thing with Lionel Richie, and he's also one of the guys on the panel on Sunday night at the Palladium as well. And does so he look like him? Um, I wouldn't say he 100% looks like him, but he's one of the best sound alikes of oh, him. Real. Yeah. Oh, real. Nice. Well, I can't wait. It sounds to be amazing. So. Yeah, very, very good. Exciting. Looking forward to that. And that's on Thursday. And then on Friday, the 12th of April, you've got a few good picks for that, Ian? Yes, yeah, we've got Jessica Rhodes. Uh, we mentioned her last week. Really good, young talent. Uh, comes along as a duo. She's appearing at Isabella's again. That venue do live music every Friday and Saturday. It's free entry in there from 9 o'clock. Uh, great way to start your weekend. Kyle Sheriff, he's going to be at Walkabout in Solihull. Splendid Fridays there, which is the sort of last spot on your uh, night out, as we mentioned before. That's mm. open till 4 a.m. The venue starts to get busy from probably 12 o'clock. Um, and I was up there this week, actually, till about 3 o'clock. Oh, well Check done, you. I know. Nice. Yes. Great, great work. Three o'clock. I know. I, I want to know. Who, I want to know who these people are who stay out until yeah. four a.m. and they're still standing. Yeah, <laughs> I was gone before then, but it was still very busy at three o'clock. So uh, definitely worth worth checking out if you fancy a late night on Friday. And then more stuff on at the Core Theatre. Their lineup is great recently isn't mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. so uh, they've got the bon jovi experience on on friday night there as well yeah i was reading about this actually and they've been generating fantastic reviews from bon jovi fans and music critics right across the country and this is their latest tour and you can hear the whole back catalogue of simply great music in celebration of one of the best in the business tickets again from the core theater website or 
The telephone number for that is 0121 704 6962. They did say they like us putting their phone number on, so I do keep trying to do that for them. But okay. <laughs> we'll yeah, see. very good. Um, but moving on to Saturday, the 13th of April, we have a 5K Bruton Park run. In fact, this happens every Saturday at 9 a.m. And this is a five kilometer park run starting from the Park Ridge Centre and it uses the tarmac paths in the park and it's free of charge to enter and is run by volunteers. They welcome runners of all abilities. So if you'd like to register as a runner or even if you'd like to become a volunteer, go and get in touch with them at the Park Run website, which is parkrun.org.uk forward slash Bruton. Either of you guys ever done that? Uh, I haven't. But I know lots of people that do do the park runs every weekend all over the country. Um, I've been uh, spectating for, for members of my family that do it. And when they come and visit, they actually register on the Bruton Park Run uh, and head out there. It's uh, what amazing. a great thing to do. Um, and all of your times are logged. So, oh, so you go so each week. Each and you can week. Improve. So oh, when you good. log back into your portal in the Park Run portal, you can see your timings. You know your your personal bests and things like that. So you can measure it over a long period of time, and you can do this anywhere in the country. They're, oh, they're, they're run all around the country. Oh, that's it's, a really uh, great I, idea. I pretty much live right by the park, so I get to see it every Saturday. It's a great atmosphere, all the yeah. guys turning up. I just started running this week, hence why I'm dressed like I am <laughs> as well. Yeah, you don't get to see that, unfortunately, <laughs> on the podcast, thankfully for you guys. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to try and do it in a couple of weeks. I'm just building up, getting used to being out, running, on the, running around the same park. So hopefully in a couple of three weeks' time, I'll let you know all about that. Good. Okay. And what a great way to start your weekend. And if you want to continue being awesome you can then head on to the linden big spring clean litter pick meeting at the linden pub on park i'm um, sorry barn lane in Sully hall from 10 a.m till 11 30 a.m also on saturday and all the litter picking equipment is provided kids welcome everyone's welcome and afterwards you can go and have a tea and coffee thanks to cat hickox who is the landlady of the linden um so two really great ways to start your weekend mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. And then afterwards, you've got an Easter fun day for us, haven't you? Yes, yeah, there's an Easter fun day taking place at the Alton Tavern. Uh, fun for the whole family. It's free entry down there, but the guys are raising money for Sands. Um, for those that don't know about the Sands charity, it relates to stillbirth and neonatal death. Um, so basically, they're going to support anyone that's affected by the death of a baby, working to improve the care for bereaved parents and also promoting research to try and reduce the loss of babies lives as well so really great work so that starts at five o'clock in the afternoon so it's definitely one that's worth popping along to and where is the alton tavern the alton tavern is on the load lane it's just by the jaguar land rover by the island there by the roundabout Okay, and it doesn't stop there. So much to do this Saturday in town. And I have to admit, I'm rather excited about this next one. Are you guys big escape room artists? Because I am. I've not done an escape room as such, but I've seen a lot. I've watched a few YouTubes of people um, uh, sort of taking part. But there is an escape room being developed here at Touchwood uh, in Central Solihull. Players will be challenged by a mad scientist to take on some chocolate-themed puzzles using some clues, hints and pure brain power to fix a machine and get it ready for Easter. All in under 20 minutes, so you've got that time limit and that will be running until Sunday the 28th of April. So if you think you've got a team that you could put together... Uh, to come in and it will be held in the teepee in Theatre Square. They're going to reuse that teepee space and they're going to create that escape room uh, within there. So, And d- making the treat even sweeter, it's free, we, totally free. You just you turn go. up on the day or any day that takes your fancy. And honestly, if you haven't done an escape room before, you have to go and try. This one's only 20 minutes. I've done them all. Honestly, I'm a, I, never, I never escape, but I've done them all. But they're so much fun. You know, fun for all ages. And, you know, bring your family, bring your friends. And you find that each person offers something different. You'll have some people who are really good at spotting things on the wall or other people who are really good at solving cryptic clues. And you all come together. It's such a bonding experience. I don't know how this one's going to be in 20 minutes. We're going to have to ask them if we can do it, if we well, can come and do why it. Don't we, um, why don't we do it? I take some recording equipment and we record oh, it. Oh, my goodness, that would be amazing. Perfect. Let's do it. Yep. Okay, excellent stuff. Maybe, maybe um, I will escape. And uh, 
also actually on that Saturday, uh, vinyl DJ Dylan Retro 80 Sounds. Now, this is a Camber. A Camber's a little bit further out of Central Solihull over in Dickens Heath, isn't it, Ian? Yes, it's um, in Tithe Barn Lane. Yeah, Tithe Barn Lane. And um, lovely venue. Um, if ever, anyone's ever been out to a Camber, it's uh, an yeah, amazing I remember, place. I think my first introduction to that venue was watching some of the World Cup games there. And because of how it's all all decorated inside yeah. and with all the plant life, you literally forget where you are. You yeah. could be anywhere in the yeah. world. So if, you, if you've if you not been to that venue, it's definitely worth checking out. I know that this event, um, they're looking at a lot of, it's all, the DJ's playing just off final. Right. All night. So he's only playing a final, a lot of sort of 80s retro. So maybe not your obvious, maybe think more Grace Jones, Talking Heads, Tom Tom Club, David Bowie, Human League, uh, apparently bringing back memories of the Rum Runner, and the powerhouse in Birmingham. Right. I'm probably too young to remember those. You're just saying words now to me, of course. <laughs> so, uh... I think the powerhouse was possibly the ritzy in my day. Okay, right. Um, and that starts at six o'clock and that's on until late. And Chris, the guy that runs a camber, um, absolutely fantastic fella and uh, really welcoming. And he's got an, a, a, a great sort of setup out there as well. So if you do fancy a bit of retro vinyl, uh, you could always head out to a camber. Sounds amazing. Um, anything else coming up that yeah, day? Yeah, also on Saturday evening, we have Spring Sing. You and Me with Bentley Heath Community Choir at the Core Theatre. This is their annual charity concert with songs from artists such as Queen, ABBA, John Legend, Cliff Richard, Neil Diamond, they tell me, and hits from all the musicals like The Greatest Showman and The Lion King. It's always a fun evening, suitable for the whole family and supporting two very worthwhile charities, the Admiral Nurses, which are the specialist dementia nurses, and also Parkinson's UK. So if you fancy a good sing-along on Saturday night... The Core Theatre is where you need to be. Excellent. And then uh, one for you, Ian. Isabella's? Yeah, Isabella's. More live acoustic music. Alex Harry, he's there this Saturday. As I say, really, really talented guy. This guy's just got such a big portfolio of songs that he can perform. He's on there from nine o'clock. Free entry, as always. A great place to sometimes, either if you've had a meal, it's a great transition of the night, but equally it's a great place to start your night with the cocktails mm-hmm. and... That's just making me want a cocktail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Um, and then also across the road, a bit further around the corner, Yates's Solihull, DJ Jeff Peters. He's running the night there called Escape. So lots of commercial fun music taking place. I did pop in there this week and the atmosphere was really good. Uh, that starts at nine o'clock and runs through till 2.30 in the morning. Right, let's move on uh, to the fantastic Sunday morning, Sunday the 14th this will be. Um, Slug and Lettuce, 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6 o'clock is acoustic sessions there again uh, in the town at the Acoustic Artist and the live music scene is really good, yep. I have to say. It's yep. good to see the venues investing in that and it's giving people a nice ambience to enjoy their days. Um, the Slug and Lettuce, they do it every week. It's at 6 o'clock, so 6 to 8 o'clock. This week it's a guy called Mike Swift who actually released his first single on iTunes last week. So mm-hmm. hopefully he's doing well with that and he's Fingers trying crossed, to yep. release some of his own material. Around about the same time at 6.30 at the Mason's Arms, I believe there's probably a football game on. If there's a, a big football game on, they tend to have a live acoustic artist afterwards. And mm-hmm. Jack Gaylor, he will be performing there as well. And he's a school teacher Is by he? day. Excellent. Yes, and well then he's done, a performer Jack. by evening. So, uh, yeah, multitasking. Well done, Jack. Brilliant. Then also on Sunday, we have karaoke with DJ Danny Sun at the Stonehouse Carvery in Shirley, 8pm until midnight, free entry there. And Danny actually wrote to us and said he loves the show. So thanks, Danny. We're going to give you a big thumbs up and we hope to get down to one of your nights soon. And then, of course, it is the school holiday season straight after that, moving into Monday the uh, 15th. So it will be things to do with the little ones. And look out on the What's On Solihull Facebook page, because I'm sure some of the what's on events for uh, holiday clubs and things will be added onto there but if you fancy some holiday climbing sessions over at the flash climbing center um, just the other side along load lane there um, you can learn the skill of bouldering now bouldering is a little bit like the rock climbing with uh, the harnesses and things like that but you don't need, need to wear the harnesses you, you you only go up maybe 10 or 12 feet um, but it's exactly the same with the little handholds and footholds and it's all done with a, a lovely sort of crash mat underneath. So as you c- climb down, you can just jump down that last sort of foot or two. And do you need to be a kid to go to do this? No, adults, ad- do it too. adults okay. can do it too. And I have taken part in uh, some of this bowl.
bouldering. Of course you and have. And it, it is incredibly... <laughs> just at uh, everything. <laughs> I, uh, but bear in mind, the, uh, the person that runs the bouldering centre, are you familiar uh, with Ningesta Monti? No. Right. Great name, though. Ningesta Monti. He was in the Ninja Warrior, and oh, he wow. um, is an amazing climber, uh, parkour and, and things, and, and amazing circus skills, ninja circus skills, effectively. Friend of the station as well here at Solihull Radio. I've been invited to lots of children, because I've got young children. I've been invited to uh, children's parties there. Where they take them off and they do assault courses and climbing walls. And um, he basically teaches them to be young ninja jesters with circus skills. What a great thing to do. And also remember, it's free at Fitness First all week long with no booking required. And you've got full use of their facilities, including the free weights, the cardio, the function areas. They've got three studios with over 90 classes, a steam room, sauna and ladies only gym. So if you fancy a free week of fitness, call them Fitness First on 0121 700 1350. That is a brilliant offer. Great incentive. Okay, Tuesday the 16th of April. This is something that, Claire, you uh, might know a little bit about. What's going on in Mill Square? Yeah, they contacted us, and it's the Duplo Brick Pits Lego event um, in Mill Square. It's going to be open from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m., and there's going to be 200 Lego animals to make and take away in Mill Square um, and at 200 in Touchwood. Oh, no, sorry, 200 also in Touchwood. I think it's two different events. We need to find out actually mm. more about this from them. We do have a website you can check out, and hopefully it's on there, soliholbid.co.uk forward slash events. Um, but this is just for the kids in the, in the Easter holidays, for them to go and see. And it's also in conjunction with the Solihull Spring Fair. So I think there's stuff for adults as well. Um, including the gardening stalls and food and drink and lots going on, really. <laughs> Superb, yeah. I did notice on their website, you've got the solihullbid.co.uk slash events. I was at the Solihull Tourism Board oh, yeah. um, last week. Solihull Bid were presenting and explaining everything that they've got going on. It's worth looking at that events page because there are so many events that they've got going on in Solihull this year. So definitely worth keeping a track of that website, one to remember. That's right. Mel and uh, Amy and Steve and the rest of the bid team are working incredibly hard. Then on Wednesday, the 17th of April, we've got DJ Danny Sun again. He's back, but this time at Walkabout. And again, it's a fun karaoke from 10 p.m. until 2 a.m. on Wednesday, the 17th. Anything else going on, guys? I think that's about it, really, isn't it, guys? That's solid hole for the next week. If you do have an event that you'd like included, please do get in touch with us. You can email us your event details or give us a call and let us help you publicise it to all the readers of the Solihull Hole Observer, listeners of Solihull Hole Radio and viewers of social media on What's On Solihull. Hole. Thank you so much for listening and have a great week. See you. See you guys.